It was a pulsating Saturday night, the kind that draws in young generations like moths to a flame. The air was thick with excitement and the unmistakable beats of electronic dance music. Among the crowd was Jack, a 24-year-old, who had been looking forward to this night for weeks. As he stepped into the club, he felt an electric surge of energy and a feeling that would soon spiral out of control. He met a new guy in the club who is offering him a tablet, which was said that it will improve the mood. Jack has never heard about such a drug and decided to try the tablet, which is MDMA, methylene dioxymethamphetamine, which is commonly known as ecstasy. MDMA was first synthesized in 1912 by the German pharmaceutical company Merck, primarily as a precursor for other compounds. It remained largely unused and untested for decades, with no significant pharmacological research conducted until 1970. In the late 1970s, chemist Alexander Shulgin reintroduced MDMA to the therapeutic community. He recognized its potential for enhancing communication in psychotherapy and shared with doctors leading to its use in therapeutic settings. This period saw MDMA being used by around 4,000 psychotherapists globally who noted its calming effect and ability to facilitate emotional expressions. By the early 1980s, MDMA began to gain popularity in the party scenes in the US, particularly among the followers of Grateful Dead and within certain gay communities. Its euphoric effects made it appealing for social interactions. The late 1980s marked a significant turning point as MDMA became closely associated with European rave scene. Raves were characterized by all-night dance parties often held in unconventional venues where MDMA became the drug of choice due to its stimulating and euphoric effects. This association solidified MDMA's place within the club culture and electronic dance music scenes. Now let's go back to our main character. Initially, Jack felt invincible, energetic, confident and deeply connected to those around him. However, as the hours pass, the initial euphoria morphed into something darker. Jack began experiencing dilation of pupils, excessive setting and racing heartbeat. He felt tingling sensations in his limbs and had trouble controlling his jaw, which was clenching very tightly. As night continues, irrational thoughts crept in. Jack felt waves of anxiety that washed over him, punctuated by moments of paranoia. Paranoia is a way of thinking that involves feeling of distrust and suspicion of others without good reason to be suspicious. He started to hallucinate slightly, colors seem more vibrant and sounds more intense. By two at night, Jack was overheating. His friends noticed that he, he was becoming increasingly agitated and confused. They urged him to drink water and take breaks from dancing, but Jack was too caught up in the moment to listen. As the clubs began to empty out, Jack's condition deteriorated very rapidly. He collapsed on a bench outside, drenched in sweat and gasping for air. His friends panic and call an ambulance, which they notice his body temperature skyrocketing and his heart racing uncontrollably. At hospital, Jack was sent into the emergency room. The medical team quickly assessed his condition. His blood pressure readings were alarmingly high. They noted that his body temperature has reached a dangerous level due to prolonged physical activity combined with MDMA use. Despite drinking lot of water, he was severely dehydrated from excessive sweating. The doctors suspect an MDMA overdose and began immediate treatment. Dr. Lee, an experienced emergency physician, 
explained Jack's condition to him once he becomes stabilized. Jack, she said gently but firmly, you have experienced what we call MDMA toxicity. MDMA affects your brain's neurotransmitter primarily serotonin which regulates mood, appetite and sleep. When taken in high doses or combined with physical exertion in hot environments, it can lead to severe overheating and dehydration. Dr. Lee continued explaining how MDMA can create feelings of empathy and connections but also leads to dangerous side effects when abused. Jack's treatment involves several critical steps. First one was cooling measures because his body was overheating. So medical staffs place him in a cool room and use ice packs to lower his body temperature. Then administered intravenous fluids to combat dehydration. Continuous monitoring of his heart rate and blood pressure was crucial for assessing the stability. They even use benzodiazepines to calm any severe agitation or anxiety. As Jack recovered over the next few hours in the hospital bed, he reflected on the night's event. Dr. Lee returned to discuss the potential long-term impacts of MDMA use. First one was cognitive issues. Regular use of MDMA can lead to memory problems and difficulty in concentrating, followed by emotional disturbances. Anxiety and depression are common after effects. There is also certain physical health risk which is associated with overuse of MDMA. Long-term users may face heart or liver damage due to repeated strains on these organs. By morning, Jack was stable enough to be discharged but not without a stern warning from Dr. Lee about the risk that is associated with MDMA use. The party might seem fun now, but your health is far more important than any fleeting high. Jack left the hospital with a new perspective on life, a reminder that while some nights may be unforgettable for all wrong reasons, they can also serve as pivotal moments for change. A night that began with excitement but ended in a lesson about respect for one's health.